Yo, what is up, guys? My name is Nicholas Earl, and welcome back to another episode of Earl Sports Pets. And today, we've got another NHL slate we're going to be going over in a massive 12 game slate. So, uh, we're not going to waste too much time on the intro and stuff like that. You guys know what to do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and turn on post notifications so you guys are notified each and every time we come out of the video here at Earl Sports Bets. You can also follow us on our social medias at Bets Earl on Twitter, at Earl Sports Bets on Instagram. And you can, if you want to join our Discord chat, the link to that will be in the description of the video down below. And as always, leave your best bet in the NHL in the comment section below. All right, quick recap of yesterday, and bam, we are on a roll in the NHL going 4-0 last night. We're 14-4 and in our last 18 plays. We're 8-1 and in our last uh, two days, nine plays. We are on fire right now. Uh, looking at yesterday, Boston got us the easy win, 5-1 to versus the uh, Washington Capitals. Anaheim and Colorado. Uh, cash the under five and a half as it was two to two entering the third, no goals in the third, force in overtime. Colorado wins in overtime. Minnesota, an easy 5% best bet winner as they take care of the Arizona Coyotes, five to one. Arizona was never in that game. And the only game to make us sweat yesterday was those St. Louis Blues. Jeez, they were down two to one. With about 45 seconds left, they scored an empty net goal where they scored a goal with an extra extra attacker to force overtime, and then they get the win in overtime. Huge win there for St. Louis. I think this is a good sign for St., uh, things for St. Louis to come. But we went 4-0 yesterday. We're now 116-99 and in the NHL, hitting at 54%, including a decent amount of plus dogs in there too. So we're doing really well in the NHL this season. So uh, let's continue that with today's massive slate. Why don't we hop into it? All right. Starting with the 1 o'clock games here. We're starting with the Buffalo Sabres and the New York Islanders. Minus 213 for the Isles. Plus 191 for the Sabres over under of five goals. And this is... This is a game where it's just tough to approach this game anywhere. Uh, I really like the Islanders in this game, but once again, that minus 213 price tag is keeping us off of the Isles today. And the total, I would like the under if it was at 5.5, not 5. Uh, this is just not a number I want to bet unders on. That being said, could the Islanders and the Sabres do that? Absolutely. It could easily be a 2-1 to one game because that's just the styles of these teams. But I'm not trying to uh, bet that under of five overall this game is a complete pass if anything i may lean towards the plus one and a half for buffalo that could be an option but i'm not trying to turn a big dog into a small favorite and i'm just going to completely pass on this game there's tons of other spots for on this card we don't have to go on after every single one so the new york islanders and the buffalo sabers that's gonna be a pass for us this morning next we have the new york rangers and the new jersey devils Minus 120 for the Rangers, plus 109 for the Devils, over under five and a half goals. This can be another pass for me. Uh, I'm not really getting too much of a feel for this game. Uh, it's two to one New Jersey in this series so far. I think I would lean towards the over, especially with Alexander Gorgiev in goal instead of uh, Igor Sestrikin. But I don't really feel like Mackenzie Blackwood is someone I really want to bet overs on against right now. Uh, he is a talented goalie. And this new New York Rangers team is a under machine. Seven under uh, seven overs, 14 unders. Three of those overs are against New Jersey. Uh, I would lean towards the Devils. Lean towards the over for this game. But it's a complete pass. All right, we got our first action on this card in this next game. We have the Philadelphia Flyers and the Pittsburgh Penguins. Minus 107 for the Flyers. Minus 103 for the Penguins. Over under of six goals. Looks like we're getting Brian Elliott taking on Tristan Yari for this matchup. Uh, Elliott coming in 6 and 1, 926 save percentage, only allowing 2.15 goals per game. But this is a great, great revenge spot for the Pittsburgh uh, Penguins. I almost said Pittsburgh Pirates, they're getting in baseball already. We're going with the Penguins here, minus 103. Uh, I think Crosby can get a goal or two. I think this team bounces back after 
collapsing in that last game. I think the Penguins get the win here. Uh, they get the job done. Give me the Penguins here. Probably only a 3% play for me, but we're going with the Penguins. Minus 103 versus the Philadelphia Flyers. Next, we have the Florida Panthers taking on the Nashville Predators. Minus 138 for the Pred uh, Panthers. Plus 125 for the Preds. And looking at this game, it looks like it's going to be Sturzai Bobrovsky versus Pekarine. And this is, once again, a matchup where I really like Florida. I think Florida is the overall superior team. I think this line should be more towards minus 165, minus 170. I'd bet this line probably all the way up to minus 145. I really like the Panthers in this matchup. I think they're the better overall team, and I think they, they'll dominate tonight. Uh, that puck line at minus one se- or plus 170 could be interesting, but I'm going to go with that minus 138 uh, money line for the Florida Panthers tonight. I think they can get the job done. I think can, they can get the win. And someone like Pecorino and the Nashville Predators do not scare me. Uh, this will probably be around a 3 or 4%. I have to, haven't decided yet uh, bet for me. But moving on to our next game, if uh, there's a theme here with these with that Florida game and this Winnipeg game, uh, it's definitely fading teams that are looking like crap right now or fading bad teams uh, with better teams. We have the Winnipeg Jets and the Montreal Canadiens, minus 137 for the Canadiens, plus 124 for the Winnipeg Jets. Connor Hellebuck versus, I believe, is going to be Carey Price in net. And if it's Carey Price in net, that plus 124 price tag for them, Winnipeg Jets. Mm. Love it. This game's. Just, I feel like they they are still overvaluing this Montreal Canadian team in the market. It's just way too big of a line for this Canadian team that's only won two of their last ten games. They're two four and four. They've lost four in overtime or shootout. They've not looked good. They've only won. Their only wins, I believe, are to Ottawa and they had a win against Toronto like a couple weeks ago. But like this team has looked bad. And Winnipeg has had their number sweeping this series so far. 3 nothing Jets. Uh, I think they get, continue to roll tonight. I like the Winnipeg Jets. This may be a 4% play for me. Uh, I'm all over Winnipeg in this matchup. They haven't they haven't left me let me down recently, so other than the one Vancouver game. But this is a good spot for uh Winnipeg, especially if they're getting carry price. All right. Next we're getting Toronto and Vancouver minus 195 for the Leafs plus 175 for the Canucks and this is absolutely a spot I want to jump on the Toronto Maple Leafs the only problem is there's no really good spots for that this line is blown way out uh, way far that I would want to think about betting it minus 195 uh, that's a no thank you for me and plus 118 I mean that's not a puck line I want to bet. Last time we got a puck line at plus 150. Now it's plus 118. I'm not betting that either. Uh, if we look maybe on the three-way line, you can get the them at minus 130. But still, uh, that's just way too much to try to bet a line like that. This Leafs team, I really wanted to bet them. I really wanted to figure out a way to get action on them, but they're just priced too much for me. And this is not a, a spot I want to. Um, reach like that and lay that type of juice. It's a pass for me this game. There's not no way I'm betting on this Vancouver team, but I love the revenge spot for the Leafs. If we can get this line down to maybe, or if we can get maybe the three way down to a minus one fifteen, minus one ten, I'll think about it. But this game overall is a pass for me. Next we have the Minnesota Wild taking on the Arizona Coyotes. Um. Minus 145 for the Wild, plus 131 for the Coyotes. And this is another game where oh, I actually do have a play on this one. It's not on a side, though. It's my only total play of the day. But looking at this game, we're getting Cam Talbot and Darcy Comfort. Comfort coming back off of an injury. And Cam Talbot looks okay, not great so far this season. Uh, Minnesota was my big 5% play yesterday. They cashed for me. Uh, this is not going to be a 5% play, though, but we're going with the over here. I like that plus money as well on that. Uh, these two teams have been playing towards the over so far this season. 13 overs, 8 unders for Minnesota. 14 overs, 8 unders for um, for Arizona. Uh, Minnesota has gone over in their last four games, and this team is just a team that's just scoring goals right now, and I don't think Cam Talbot's someone that scares me for an under. 
Uh, these two teams can score. It's on the second half of a back-to-back, -back, so I expect some scoring here. Give me the over, five and a half. Give me that nice plus, plus money on total, and I'll take it. Next, we have the Colorado Avalanche, minus 240, jeez, versus the Anaheim Ducks. You can get them at plus 214, over under of five and a half goals. And this is a team that plays Colorado close for some reason. Uh, I may have an additional play on um, the Ducks at plus one and a half goals at minus 120. I don't think the Ducks will win this game, but if we look at last game, it was an overtime game. They've they've played them really close this season. Uh, it's no bet for me right now. It's a pass for me, but if you guys follow me on Twitter at Nicholas underscore Earl, I might tweet out saying I'm going to bet the Anaheim Ducks puck line, but... For this game, it's going to be a pass for me, um, and we're going to move on to our final four games. We have Columbus taking on Dallas, minus 135 for the Stars, plus 122 for the Blue Jackets, and this is another one just like that Winnipeg game, just like the Florida game. We're going to fade a bad team here. We're going to fade a team that's struggling. We're going with Columbus here, plus 122. Versus the Dallas Stars, who have won one of their last 10 games. This Dallas Stars team has been, their, their season's panic button smash right now. Like, this is a really bad look for this Dallas Stars team. And I don't see it getting any better anytime soon. Uh, this is going to be a team that they, they might miss the playoffs. And I wouldn't be surprised if they did. This Dallas Stars team, they're going to need to pick it up. And I don't think it starts tonight. Um, I, I like Columbus plus money for a team that has actually won more than one game in the last 10. I'm totally okay with that. Give me the Columbus Blue Jackets plus 122 versus the Dallas Stars team, and we're going to continue to fade them until they prove us otherwise. All right, next we have the St. Louis Blues taking on the Los Angeles Kings, and wow, this was an exciting game last night. And we're going right back to St. Louis tonight. Uh, the St. Louis team has started to pick it up. They've won their last four games, granted, Three of them were against Anaheim and San Jose. But I feel like this team is starting to put it together a little bit more. They're coming back from games. They're looking better. I'm expecting a good performance out of Jordan Bennington tonight. It's going to be Bennington versus Quick. Uh, I'm, I'm expecting a little bit more out of Bennington here. It's going to be, a, I think he's going to have a good game tonight. I think they get it done. I think they get their revenge from uh, L.A. coming in a week or two ago and coming in sweeping them in St. Louis. They're going to go in there. They're going to sweep them in L.A. Give me the King, uh, give me the Blues. Also, the Kings have not looked good since their 16 win streak. These two teams are on opposite uh, ends of a spectrum right now. St. Louis is 4-0 in their last four. L.A. is 0-4 in their last four. I think the winning streak continues for St. Louis tonight. Give me the Blues here. Minus 126. This is the LA Kings tonight at 9. All right, now we have the 10 o'clock games. We have Calgary heading to Edmonton to play the Oilers. Minus 126 for the Oilers, plus 114 for the Flames. And this is absolutely a get-right spot for Edmonton uh, off of three bad losses versus Toronto. I think the Oilers get, get some offensive production tonight. McDavid can only be shut down for so long, and expect something out of McDavid and Drysaddle tonight. Expect a good performance out of Mike Smith and Nett. And expect a, a Edmonton Oilers win tonight versus the Calgary Flames. I'm 100% down on this Edmonton Oilers team to get the job done. The only thing that's a little bit on the other side for me with Calgary, I think Jacob Markstrom's returning tonight, which could be interesting. I think he may be a little rusty, though, so this is something to keep an eye out for. But I still like Edmonton in this matchup. This is 100% a get-right spot versus a struggling Calgary Flames team that seems to only be able to beat Ottawa right now. All right, in our last game of the night, we have the Vegas Golden Knights taking on the San Jose Sharks, minus 201 for the Knights, plus 180 for the Sharks. And this game kind of... This is going to be a pass for me. I'll lean the Sharks, though, and the only reason is... I think it's going to be Marc-Andre Fleury on a back-to-back. -back. If not, it's going to be Oscar Dansk. And if Oscar Dansk is uh, starting, I'm 100% betting the Sharks team. Um, I don't trust him in, in net. So 
this is going to be a pass for me. Once again, follow me on Twitter if you guys want to find out if I'm going to be betting the San Jose uh, team tonight. If Oscar Dance is in that, you can follow me there at Nicholas underscore Earl. Uh, my, that's my personal one. But this game right now is a pass for me. But let's go recap over our plays for today. We're going with the Pittsburgh Penguins at minus 105. The Florida Panthers at minus 138. We're going with the Winnipeg Jets at plus 124. We're going with the over five and a half goals with the Arizona Coyotes and the Minnesota Wild. We're going with the Columbus Blue Jackets at plus 122. We're going with the St. Louis Blues at minus 126. And the same line, minus 126 for the Edmonton Oilers tonight versus the Calgary Flames. If this information was helpful to you guys at all, feel free to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel down below if you haven't already. But that's going to just about do it for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe as always. And let's make some money. Let's cash some bets in the NHL tonight. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.